Hey there pumpkins, today I'm going to show you how I created my entry to the 2017 NYX Face Awards. This is my volcano fairy design and if you want to see how I did it, keep on watching. I'm beginning by protecting my eyebrows and hairline with Vaseline and then I'm going to be making a prosthetic for my face using skin safe silicone. You take equal parts of the product, taking care not to transfer the product from one container to the other, mix them together and this is what we're going to use. So I've drawn some guidelines with a liner pencil and now I'm applying the silicone in thin layers, building up to the shape that I want. I wanted the forehead to look kind of drippy so I'm applying the silicone slightly thicker and allowing it to drip down a little bit and I wanted the cheeks to have a rough texture so I'm manipulating the silicone as it dries to get that effect. I'm using a hairdryer in between layers to get the process done a bit quicker but for it to set completely you'll need to let it sit on the face for 20 to 30 minutes. So once it's all nice and dry I'm going to brush the whole surface with loose powder to take away the stickiness so that it doesn't end up sticking to itself when I remove it. Right, we're going to remove the silicone by gently easing up an edge and running a finger or thumb underneath to release it from the face. It should come away quite easily and as long as you put enough Vaseline on to start with you should still have your eyebrows intact afterwards. Hooray! So here is our face prosthetic ready for action. To make the lava rock pieces I'm using the same silicone to paint on some irregular shapes onto my arm. If you have arm hair you'll need to do the Vaseline thing again but I'm just going straight onto my arm. These pieces are going to be used on my face and chest, so I'm making a range of sizes. Again, we're going to wait for 20 minutes, then powder them, peel them off and powder the other side to keep them from sticking to themselves. One more silicone piece to go. This piece will be covering some LED lights on my chest, so I'm keeping this one nice and thin and as evenly covered as possible. And then once it's dried, I'm powdering the whole thing to remove any shine and any stickiness. And then for this piece, I'm very gradually peeling it away from the skin and powdering the inside as I go so that it doesn't get stuck together. I know my face makes it look like this is painful to peel off but it was actually just nerves because the piece was so thin and I was worried about it tearing but it's a lot stronger than it looks. Okay so now I'm going to start and put the whole look together. So first I'm going to mark out where the chest piece covers and then I'm taking these tiny little LED lights on posable wire and I'm taping them to my chest in a triangular shape with surgical tape. So here's what it looks like when it's all nice and secure. And now we're going to use spirit gum to brush all around the edges right up to those edge markers and then I'm going to wait a few moments and then lay over the silicone piece and smooth down the edges using more spirit gum wherever necessary. So here goes on the silicone piece so we lay it on and we smooth it out. And as you can see, the light shines through really nicely. Now I'm going to apply the face prosthetic we made earlier. Again, I'm protecting my eyebrows with Vaseline, applying the spirit gum to the silicone this time, 
and then smoothing it onto the face from the centre out. I know this piece looks kind of gnarly, I tried to paint it with acrylics but it went all flaky so I ended up removing as much paint as possible and now we're going to paint it with body paints instead. So I'm starting out with yellow, building up my highlight areas and then the mid-tone is orange and then I'll be using red for any hollow or contoured areas. And I'm going back and forth with those colours as I go, making sure each colour blends nicely into the next. For my neck and chest, I'm making a jagged line around the jaw painting the neck black and then gradually fading that into red as I go down the chest. I'm also blacking out my ears so they're well hidden under the wig I'll be wearing later. to add some glow using the NYX Born This Way Liquid Illuminator and I'm tapping this on with clean fingers to the forehead, cheeks, cupid's bow and nose. This stuff is magical and a little bit gives you the maximum effect. Now to begin the eye makeup, I'm lining my water lines with the NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil and then I'm using some NYX Yellow Concealer to prime my eyelids. Now I'm taking the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and I'm using the bright yellow eyeshadow on my lids. Some nice bright orange in the crease and then some red blended into the outer edge and surrounding red body paint. Now I'm adding some shading and contour with NYX Raven eyeshadow and I'm going around the edges of the silicon piece to add a charred effect and I'm also adding some contouring around the cheeks, nose, lips and chin. shimmer I'm using my finger to apply some NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Frostbite just to the centre of the lids. For the lashes I'm using NYX White Liquid Liner to coat the entire lashes top and bottom and then I'm adding a thin line to the upper lash line too. I'm also using the liner to add some tiny clusters of dots around the eye area and then I'm also using some Vivid Halo Liner to add some yellow dots as well. For my lips, I'm first applying some NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil to the centre and then blending some of that bright yellow eyeshadow around the edges and then onto the NYX Liquid Suede in Orange County around the edges of that. Make sure it's nicely blended. And finally some NYX Red Lip Liner around the very outer edge. This is where I'm perfecting the shape of the lips so I'm taking extra time to get that just right. And then if any of the colours get lost in the process, you can refresh them now. To add a glossy aspect to the design, I'm using the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Orange Circle around the inner corners of the eyes and almost like tears running down slightly. And over the top of that, I'm dabbing on some yellow glitter to really catch the light. 
now the lip products have dried down, I'm going to highlight using a bit more of that liquid illuminator. Oh, go on then, and a little bit more on the nose. Right, now we're going to stick on our lava rocks. I've pre-painted them with black body paint, and I'm sticking them on using spirit gum. Quick side note, if you don't have spirit gum remover, you'll need to get some, because spirit gum is notoriously difficult to get off otherwise. I'm applying the rocks around the edges of the face piece and over the chest and as you can see when the lights are switched on it gives a really awesome glowing lava effect. Now I'm taking a fine brush and some matte black eyeliner to paint in some smaller rock shapes around the stuck on ones. If you look at pictures of moving lava you'll see bigger sections of rock with smaller pieces broken away so that's the effect we're trying to achieve here. The amount of rocks you paint is all down to personal preference, just keep going until you feel like it's done. Now I'm happy with the amount of rocks, I'm going back to the white liquid liner and I'm adding more clusters of dots on top to add some more texture and detail. As a final finishing touch I'm adding a small amount of clear lip gloss over the lips to make them pop even more. So this is my finished design, I painted my arms to match, put on a black wig, added some contact lenses and accessories, et voila! Thanks so much for watching, it really does mean a lot to me guys. The NYX Face Awards Top 20 is to be announced on April 3rd. I really put my heart into this piece, so I'm really hoping to be accepted into the first challenge so I can push my boundaries even further. Thanks again for watching and for all of your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!